Do you know? This is a true life story. I saw this. A guy was getting married years back. This guy was going to get married Friday night stroke, the Saturday of his wedding. He went to drink with his friends and they all slept off in the beer parlor. It was around past seven in the morning that they tapped him. Today is your wedding day. He couldn't brush. He couldn't bath. He just did ablution, wash his face, wash his hand, wore the suit, was not tight. He had to take bike to the vendor of the wedding. When they said it was time for the groom to kiss the bride, the the mouth was so smelly, the wife had to pull aside. But you know what? We all see all those red flags, but want to marry regardless. And that's why I'm saying, in the body of Christ and in our local churches, we must learn to normalize breakup. There's nothing deep about breakup, okay? Somebody in the media has broke up all the choir, let them do their duty as unto the Lord. And don't be a witch to be asking, ah, yo, we are not seeing both of you together. What's your business? Since we've known you, we've not seen you with somebody too. Are you following what I'm saying? And let me tell you, before you start posting, pictures be sure okay but i know what i'm saying you know why there's absolutely nothing wrong in people being in the same place knowing that you're a good person but this can't work sometimes two good people can't work and it is only normal and if two good people can't work they should go separate ways and still serve the lord let's normalize you will not marry rubbish man.